What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Reign of Kings. My name is Splattercat and we need to get ready for a siege. That's Bumpy McSquiggums right there and he's going to be on our team, but everybody else on the server at the moment is scrambling and getting ready to attack us. And so I figure what we need to do for right now is we actually need to set up some sort of like point defense. Like basically anything that could throw these people back once they get here. Now I don't have a whole lot of plans other than like build little extensions on the side of the building like this right here. But I think that plan might work out okay in the long term if we can put like maybe, I don't know, I was thinking about putting maybe some ballistas or something like that on top of this. I really have no plan right now, so honestly, Bumpy has been added to my immediate family in game, so he should be able to like, he should be able to assist, get through our doors and all that fun stuff. I do have my siege tower right here, we should probably get some ballistas or something going on this. Let's see here. We'll go right there. There it is. And so what do I have right now? We need to make ourselves a siege engine. So let's go back through all of our materials and taking a look at the ballista. What's the ballista going to take? It takes 25 flax. Well, that's good because I think I have a considerable amount of flax right now. So let's go upstairs and we'll convert some of that flax into ass kickery materials. And then this should work out okay. I don't know how many I'm going to have over here. We're going to have melee fights going on. It's going to get really, really wild, like really, really quickly. Like seriously, there's going to be a lot of people over here. So I'm thinking we may as well, I forgot what number it said that we need. And I really wish there was a faster way to split stacks in this game. Like I sincerely do. I wish that you could like shift click and then split things into multiple pieces. I don't know how long this is going to take either so this might actually take a long ass time we'll throw that into there we'll throw that into there and this is probably actually those chests right there more than likely going to be the prize for the people coming i think we've actually got multiple people with trebs i think somebody said they got like 10 trebs ready to go just to fight with me today and i think it's going to be a little bit wild so we'll wait and see what happens right now now i have no time frame on any of this happening so it could be hours from now but who knows let's make oh wow that takes a lot of wood doesn't it and it takes a lot of time okay so that's going to be that's going to be a pretty considerable amount of time spent trying to get that thing up and running. But let's focus on the construction for right now. It looks like it's going to take at least eight minutes for that to be up and going. I probably only need like four of them. How many ballistas do me and like Bumpy need in order to protect this place? I figure like a couple. That's pretty much it. And so I'll make these little platforms on both sides of the building. And then we should be go- No! Ow. Alright, so my legs are now broken. That platform might be a tad more tricksy than expected. So what I can do to actually make this a little bit easier is I can go out like that. And we'll take this out by a couple layers. And that'll allow me to at least get like a little fin going on the side of the building where I can sit down some ballista. And if I could put down, do you say balliste? Is that how you say that? I don't know how you pluralize ballista. That's not a word that we typically use in modernity. Like when was the last time you were like, ready the ballista? If you got to do it at work, I'm really, really jealous. Like that's super awesome. But for right now... Let's run back inside. No. Opens the gate. And on this side, we're going to go back up and in. And we'll try and nab this on the other side. And once we get that taken care of, this might get a little rowdy a tad sooner than expected. But yeah, that seems like more than enough space. I don't know how big the ballistas are, but I'll leave both fins here just in case. Got that right there. Okay. Alright, I heard a sword draw. I'm hoping that's just bumping. It's not somebody here to attack. I know there's going to be a couple people on foot, too, because they said they hadn't had the time on the server to actually, like, build up and get ready yet, because it's sort of like a short-term thing. I was just like, while I'm online today, feel free to come destroy my stuff. I'll be rebuilding in the next episode, so that next week you can destroy my next house. Whichever you would prefer. Let's drop in a few more layers right here. It'd be like an ogre. And add one more layer. There it is. And so that should be perfect on that side now on the other side we got to do the exact same thing so let's go over here and i'm going to make it go out maybe four or five wide on this side these blocks are going to go away by the way these ones right here i'm just kind of using them as a support structure right now so that i can get stuff where i need it and so we'll go over to there there it is the tree is going to try and impede me he's like aha my arboreal sabotage may the king's reign never stand let it burn burn it all down we'll go over here all right one more layer right there the server has been busy. If you've been wondering how it's been doing, there are a lot of people here. And so I know there's been a couple people concerned about admin privileges, and I guess I wanted to sit down and explain that for just a minute. So since I'm sort of one of the big things on this server is going to be you coming to destroy my castle, that castle will be built with admin materials, I guess. Now, if there's like a huge public outcry against it, that's something that I can change against. But as it stands right now, the servers are so populated that there's not really a whole lot of stone around at peak hours and things like that. 
And so it makes it so a lot of the time I have to stall what I'm working on in order to like get things done. And so I figured since I was inviting people to come destroy my stuff on camera and you know have big fights, essentially providing like a public event for everybody, maybe people will cut me some slack on that and allow me to use admin materials. Now if it does bother people, that's totally cool and we can move things around a little bit just depending. I mean, I'm not raiding anybody's houses using admin materials, I'm not fighting anybody using admin materials. I'm purely only using them to build up sort of the community of the server and create things for people to do. I'm sort of being the dungeon master, as it were. And so, if people want that to happen, that's cool. If people don't want that to happen, that's perfectly fine as well. I just figured that I would run it by everybody and just let you know that, yeah, I am using admin materials in this series when we do these little sieges and things. I'm essentially, I feel like I'm making a target for the community to shoot at, and so the farming is going to be a little bit cumbersome in order to get it done, so why not just make it go a little bit quicker so that I can save my time and then we can get more time in episodes and things like that for people to fight with. But if my rationale is wrong, feel free to call me out on it. I am... Like I said, the admin materials and things like that will not be used to bother players or to break into their houses or spawn like explosive barrels or anything like that. They're purely being used for things like this right now, building up my base so that everybody on the server can attack it during the siege, you know? It's things that are inviting fun from other people. Oh, we got a fighter over there, a naked guy running around. Now he's cheering. We shall cheer. All right. Let me let them know. Alright, so anyways, I've got my VoIP turned off. Just I've actually never deployed a ballista just because I've had people running around being really, really loud and unfortunately it's hard to talk over them when I'm trying to like set stuff up. And so for the purpose of episodes, I have people muted so that we can get stuff done. I may actually fiddle with that in a little bit so that maybe my family members can be heard around me because I do have people on my team and I will need to like command and move them around. And so here's this right here. We've got a ballista on that side. Probably four ballistas. I might put one over here and then one over on this side. I don't know how much more wood that I have, though. I may not have very much. Wood might be in short supply. Let me grab Ogre Boy over here. And we'll let him know that the treasure room is on the upper floor and he can grab whatever he needs out of the chests. Let's see. Where'd he go? I don't even know if he's on my team. throw that out there. I need to go check on our wood supply real fast and see what we got going on right there. Now, I don't know if the siege is going to happen on this episode or like the next one or when it's coming in. It should get here in a little bit. Basically, I'm going to sit all day with my hand on the record key and just kind of like wait until it happens after this. But I had a little bit of time to kill, so I figured we just like get out here and do our thing. I have like zero wood left. That's unfortunate. That's very, very... I have 350 right there. There's 500. What did it say that it took in order to get that done? We may have to chop trees for a little while, but that's perfectly fine considering that it's got to sit there and it's got to cook inside the siege engine anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. There are a lot of people on the server, and I have seen a performance hit since like a lot of people joined the server. It is what it is. It's part of the game. I think the game is really poorly optimized right now as far as everything goes, where like no matter what you do, there's a ton. It's, it's like a really like a lot of lag going on whenever there's a lot of people on the server. I think we've got like 11 or 12 or maybe even 13 people right now. Since I opened up the server, the numbers have actually been very, very nice. They've been about perfect for having, you know, like public events without things getting too wild and out of control. And so I really, really enjoy that factor. I think that's a good thing. So let's chop down some trees. We don't, I mean, honestly, we don't have to get the next ballista going right this second. I don't know what the ballista shot is going to cost us either, whether it's going to cost us steel or what. I'm not really too sure on that one. I've never defended my house before. We'll go from this side right here. And I guess once we get the trebuchets down... Once we get the... I'm sorry, we're not going to have trebuchets. Once I get the... Let me take this right here and let me fix these real fast. Let me get my hand out real quick. There it is. That's the splatter cat. Always looking for handouts. Well, looking to get his hand out anyways. There we go. And so we'll destroy that right there. Very good. And so on this side, we're going to grab the axe. <laughs> Our horde of two. You have never seen the fury of the wrath of the horde of two. I've seen Army of Two. That game was legit. I never played the second one, though. I heard the second one wasn't quite as good, and so I never got around to it. Let's see. We've got a little bit more wood going on right here. It's going to take 800 wood to get this thing up and flying. It's going to take a little bit more. What was the flax count right there? 50 flax. Okay. So that'll be done in just a second. Let me farm up some more trees while we wait. We got this in here. So if you're wondering about the rule set of the server, by the way, if you haven't had a chance to play yet, the rule set is basically peaceful. Like, don't raid people, don't siege people, 
etc. There we go. Don't raid people, don't siege people unless they, you know, say that they are a PvP player. So for example on this server, I've said everybody come kill me whenever you want. Treat me like the raid target because I have administrator privileges and it's easy for me to recover so that, you know, you guys get your stuff destroyed, it costs you nothing. I get my stuff destroyed and I get super awesome footage and at the same time I can have it all up and running like two hours from now again and so it's not that bad. So there it is. That's basically the way that I've decided to do things. There are a couple people who have claimed that they are PvP players, so Creepy Ninja and all his friends have said it's fine to wipe out their castle. I think a lot of the YouTubers, I, I've just told people to ask. Like, if you see somebody online, you're like, hey, are you open to being raided or are you filming like a YouTube series? Because there's a lot of people on the server that are doing a lot of different stuff. And so I think we've got like five or six YouTubers that are all trying to get their series up and running and just like a lot of random little things going on that need to get done. And so with our siege work, let's get a couple more. What do these cost? Those cost a lot of wood, a lot of flax, and some steel. Oh, but they get crafted in batches of 10. Okay, so that's not too bad. Let's get another couple of these going. And then in just a moment, we'll grab this over here. Let's see. There we go. And so hopefully the seas should be coming through pretty soon. Chop down a couple more trees, and we should have this going right as rain, I think, or left as rain. Honestly, I've seen rain fall in all of the directions, depending on the wind. And so, right as rain, and I don't think it denotes really the direction that rain moves in that often. But you know what? Maybe I'm wrong here. Let's get this going. Alright, we got that sitting down right there. Definitely quiet before the storm. I agree with the chat. I think things are going to get really, really rowdy really, really shortly. So we're just going to farm our asses off for right now. That's an unnerving noise. It's like one of those death horns that they have, like the Aztec death horns or whatever. Uh, that's what it reminded me of, but a little bit louder. I don't know if you guys are the death, the death whistle. It's creepy. It's a creepy instrument, but that's only, I think, because the whistle looks like a skull. If the whistle looked like a unicorn or like a fanciful kitten, it might not be as scary. I'd just be like, wow, that's a really janky flute that makes raspy noises. Couple more ballista, couple more bullets. Gonna find a foe, gonna grow a mullet. I think the mullet is really the sort of thing that makes you privy to fighting a battle more efficiently. There we go. And there it is over here. It is going to take them. I told them, I announced it last night on the server when there was like 9 or 10 people on, but I think I may have split the time zones because the people on were mostly European at that point, whereas right now it's US peak hours. Although I know we got somebody from Serbia on right now. I think we had somebody from Norway on about 20 minutes ago. I mean, it's very, very much sort of like a multinational crew. It's very, very cool how many people have jumped on to have fun. And so, yeah, there's a guy with a trebuchet. I don't know if you guys have seen this right now. I'll show you. There's a couple people who are really sort of looking like, in the, yeah, that guy right there. You see that? Like, I logged on today. That wasn't there last night. I logged on today, and I was like, oh, well, damn then. <laughs> I like this guy's over here just like, ready, siege ready. I don't know where I'm going to put the trebs at, but we'll figure something out right here. I won't be looting dead bodies that are up on the ground because I know, like, to get people into... To get people into the sort of the spirit of community participation in this, I've found that like when people lose their loot, it makes them very, very apprehensive about showing up and it makes the events hard to organize because only people who are really, really entrenched in the server make any attempt at like showing up. Whereas if you make the stuff readily available and just be like, listen, nobody loot stuff like people's gear off the ground during sieges and stuff like that, then people seem to be much more willing to come out and like hang out for a little bit. There's a block over there. Let's put this right here. There we go, we got ourselves a ballista. And so what happens if I... Okay, so it looks like, oh, you aim it from right there. Okay, that seems acceptable. Although I think this is probably gonna be anti-infantry. Open up the magazine, so essentially we can deposit the bolt into there, okay, cool. And then that was an extra rock. I couldn't tell if like somebody put that right there or if that was just me misclicking. Let's go back down. I think I need a little bit. Actually, no, a two more. We should be fine. We've got the wood. I think I need steel. And so I spent a bunch of time getting steel ready in between episodes. Like, seriously, this took forever. So let's see here. Where is that steel at? The 27 steel. So that should give us more than enough ballista ammo. And so, oh, there's wood in this chest. Damn it. I messed up. I messed up. There's a bunch of wood in this chest. I didn't even need to chop all that. Well, damn, son. There we go. So let's get this up and running on the way. 
And now that that's going over to here, jump down. I am going to try and grab myself. You almost ready over here? Damn, we got one more. I need two more of these, like bare minimum four ballista, I think, so that we can run down, we can load them up and fire them, so that we have like these little volleys of like whip, 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 whip going on. Not fat, 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 by the way. There will be no fat, 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 fat happening inside my castle unless the fat comes from a bow sound. And then on top of this, what I'd like to get done is we need to make ourselves a crossbow very, very shortly. So there it is. I'll tell this guy in just a second how he aims it because it's only fair. Put that right there. I don't know if these ballista are going to be enough. There we go. He doesn't know how to operate his ballista. We can't have that. I don't want to fight against guys that don't know what they're doing. I need everybody to know what's up. Fletcher's table, what you got for me right now? I need a crossbow, sir. So we need... There it is right there. We need a flax for that. So let's go back downstairs. We'll grab... A, you know what? I'm just going to carry the flax stack around with me. I don't know why I keep leaving it in the crate right there. I'm trying to get very, very specific amounts, but it seems like we're going to go through it anyways. So to hell with it. Just throw it all in the backpack. Let me get rid of some of that coal. Got that right there. The logs are all in. Let me get rid of my cobblestone because I'm not going to be using it for a little bit. Got that on that side. I am going to keep my shackles just in case we have to capture somebody. A little bit of stone in here as well. It's all I got left. It's all I got left. I'm pretty much tapped out right now, actually. I ran like a whole bunch of events last night, and so unfortunately there's not a whole lot going on right now. I don't have a whole lot of things in pocket. So that's good to go right there. Waiting on the... Oh, that's right. I needed to make myself a crossbow. So let's run over to this side. Crossbow's right there, so let's get that up and running. I have a bow on me, but I'm not really interested in using it. The crossbow is actually really, really powerful in this game. So I'll put that right there. I may put some of my farming tools up in here. My guess is that we're going to get overrun anyways, so I don't know exactly how this is going to go. Let's make a couple of steel bolts. We'll make like four of them, and that should be an... I don't think I'll need much more than like 40 bolts. The crossbow should be one-shotting people anyways, so if I can get the shot away, we should be able to win this. We'll throw that up there. Okay. That's looking good to go. This is sort of like the prep work episode, isn't it? It feels very, very intense to me. We should be pretty much done in the next couple minutes, but let me store all the stuff that... It's going to be the booty, you know? It's going to be the stuff that people are trying to steal from us over here in all of our gates. i got to close this all off before the siege starts. I've left it open so the people that are on my side can get around. I added them to my fam, but we'll worry about that in just a little bit. So I'm going to put all my farming materials up inside of here. Y'all materials going, yeah. Up in chest, up in chest. I'ma put you on a shelf. Up in chest, up in chest. All right, so we got that right there. Y'all gonna make me act a fool. Up in jaw, up in jaw. Drop that in right there. Okay, that's all looking. Oh my God, what just happened? Big ass bolt. That was a big ass chunk. What's that noise? I hear the sound of somebody like filing bullets or something. I don't know, it's weird and it's freaking me out. We got a couple seconds left on that ready to go. I'll probably make a couple more. Actually, I think I only need... Did I put one on the other side? We might only need one more. So there it is. If I put one on the other side, we got the two ballista. We got that right there. The treb, I don't think I'm going to have ammo for. So unless Bumpy has stone... Let me ask him. Oi, Bumpy, you got stone? Let's see here. All right, so there it is. All right. If he doesn't have it, it's not a big deal. It's not something we absolutely have to have, like, right this second. We'll jump down. Yeah, there's something about this floor right here. Look at that. I don't know what's causing that lag right there, but when I go down my... I don't know if it's chunking something right there or what's happening, but whenever I go down my ramp, the game lags down to, like, one frame per second. That's brutal. A couple seconds left right here, then we'll get the shot going. All right, we got that. And then the next thing that we need is going to be projectiles. So I'm just going to go, I think, like all in on that right there. That's going to give us 70 projectiles. I think if we split them 50-50 in between me and Bumpy, it should work out okay. So I think that'll be all right. I, I don't really know. I've never done this before, so I don't know how much shot you can go through in one siege. We'll find out. How do I get the crossbow out? How do we reload this thing? Oh, yeah, it's got a reload animation right there. Okay. That took a while. Oh, and then it just fires. Okay, so you've actually got to hip fire that thing. That'll take a little bit of work, but I think I'll have to get a feel for it. 
Take a look around over. Let me see if I can hunt this deer. Oh, I missed because I'm bad. A crossbow seems like a great way to take down a deer, though. Let me see what I got over here. It did 13 damage to the stag. Oh, I thought that did a lot more damage. Well, damn. That's unfortunate. Somebody on the server, or somebody on the forum said that it was overpowered. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe the deer are magically immune. It's like being magically delicious, but a little bit different. Ballista bolts. How you doing over here on this side? What is this? Oh, that's the stone. He's only got 20 on him. Okay, so that's not a big deal. We'll throw that together right there. Got another ballista on this side. I hope he's not talking about my base right now. Let's have a look. Is it us? Where's he firing from? Is it on ours? I don't think it's on ours. I didn't hear any explosions or any like like wheezing moaning sounds flying through the air because they go Wee! when the rock comes in it makes like a noise. It's got like a high pitched kitten noise. A kitten o stony doom. A kitten o lithic love noise. And so up to the top let's deploy this final ballista. And once this is in play, we'll focus on getting some band-aids and some other stuff. Obviously, we can move these around if we need to, just in case they come from multiple directions. I'm going to try and knock down these trees real fast, in the off chance that my vision is obscured by random arboreal menaces. Arboreal assholes, whatever you want to call them. I think I need an axe for that, though. So let's run out here. And let's chop down some trees, shall we? I think that one's, is that one iron? I need my steel one. I think the steel one's going to work a little bit better. All right, back out we go. And let's clear the field right now. Now, every single day the server resets and it puts all the trees back in our periphery. So for right now, it's a little bit troublesome getting it taken care of. I think that we're not going to be firing any trebs back at them. I think I'm going to focus more heavily just on firing at their siege equipment with ballista. I think the firing efficiency and the rapid fire of them is going to be a little bit more efficient for what we're trying to accomplish right now. Let's go over to here. I'm outside tree slaying. All right, so we got that taken care of right there. Very, very nice. Every last tree, I mean, technically, we don't even need to get the wood from the trees. We can just, like, chop them down. These ones look like they're in the way, too. Make shot in the siege engine out back, Plex. There it is right there. And worst case scenario is if we don't end up using the shot and we can't build a trebuchet before this all goes to hell, we'll give the shot to our opponents so that they can continue the siege and try and knock things down a little bit more efficiently. We'll take this out right here. Okay, very, very nice. I'm not sure if as an admin I can clear out buildings. I may. I may. I'm not so sure right now. We'll see what happens right there. I, I think there's a command where you can actually, like, destroy blocks that aren't technically yours, or maybe it gives you a painter tool or something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure how much of our base is going to be left after it gets trebucheted, and so we'll give this a go. Come on, a couple more trees out of the way. I don't even know if this one's up in the way. I know that these ones are up in the way. And so we'll get rid of this one right here. And it's not even like the tree itself. It's just its little expanding branches in, like in my head. And in real life, I did sort of like an arm movement right there that expands. I was like, expanding! Like a little rainbow with your hands type thing because rainbows are happy. But anyways, we got this. Come on, get out of the way. I believe in you, big giant tree. You can fall. You can take your final nap if you so desire that. I do not desire it. The entire point of being a biological organism is like, you know, staying alive for as long as possible and you keep messing with me. This is not okay. This is a little bit weird. You're definitely putting a serious dent in my productivity by killing me. I think it might put me in a bad situation. So, anyways, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in Reign of Kings for the next episode. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. I think next time we should have the siege. I'll see you all there. Hi, do, everybody.